Hello guys, this is Vice, the 2019 analysis, UPSC paper prelims. We were doing it in uh, order of like 10, 10 MCQs per video. So this is the fifth video where we'll be doing MCQ 41 to 50. Okay. And like last time, if you remember, it was one of the most difficult uh, 10 questions among in the last year. Okay. 2019, which are the most difficult 10 questions were there in the last video. And this time also the 10 uh, questions will be one of the most difficult ones which came last year because it is based on older current affair or older legislations which happened in the country okay you will understand when you see the mcqs so everybody who's watching this please subscribe on this because we are trying to make it a complete course where all the previous year papers will be analyzed for free so only if you subscribe this initiative will continue so just subscribe and all the 2021 and 22 aspirants and 20 aspirants just message me in whatsapp okay like hi i am preparing so based on which level you are we will tell you whether you have to join a test series or you have to watch some set of videos so just come and message me now itself and this yesterday's video is uh, having like great appreciation from students like uh, they were asking how to read hindu newspaper what are the different pages how to get a 15 day free trial so this is uploaded yesterday so please go and watch it if you have not watched and that playlist has an eight other videos also which you have to watch in order and that will make you score uh, or make your score go double okay that's my guarantee you can watch that set of videos this is the playlist in that playlist uh, it will be like how to begin how to set up a study room what are the books you need to buy what are the online sources uh, then different posts you will get into when you clear a upsc then uh, uh, for serious aspirants and uh, to differentiate whether you are doing something wrong compared to the non-serious aspirant or something like that then you have to uh, watch two videos which will be below this so just watch this playlist you will understand okay nine videos are there now now to begin with today's question question number 41 okay so it's a very very simple question if you are a expert in solving mcq okay like i'm trying to make you an expert i have already told you we are not trying to give you question answer question answer that is why this videos are all uh, segregated in different different uh, slots of 10 10 questions okay so that i can explain to you how to solve questions so this one is simply about particularly vulnerable vulnerable tribal group pvtg okay there's a concept like this in india so here these statements all these statements are factual but upsc knows that nobody is going to remember this they only want you to remember the very basic fact like how many PBTGs are there in this country. Okay. Totally there are 750 tribes and out of that 75, one tenth of them are PBTG. Okay. It can increase but as of now it is the number and that is, uh, that will be the first line of any uh, book. Okay. Wherever you go and read about PBTG, whether it's Wikipedia page or uh, coaching notes or wherever you go and read, the first line will be that. Okay. Out of 750 tribes, 75 will be PBTG. So, UP is just testing whether you read that one line alone. So they gave the statement, there are 95 PBTGs officially. Okay, whenever I told you, when they give a number, 99% it will be wrong only. And here they have helped you by putting that as a third statement. And in the options, everywhere they put 333. Okay, so the, the, this this is done by UPSC every year. Okay, they will give some easy question where you have to catch that one statement which UPSC have put for you and then eliminate and uh, get that two marks easily. Okay, this is one of the simplest question which you will get every year. So your other statements, if you see, PBTGs reside in 18 states and one unit territory, you cannot remember these things, okay? And it will keep changing also. This is actually true, okay? One unit territory is Andaman Nicobar Island. And this uh, stagnant or declining population is one of the criteria for determining PBTG. Like I told, when you study about PBTG, they'll give you three to four criteria, okay? In our test also, in one of our full test, you can find that. It will be mentioned, like low literacy, then this declining population, then maybe like long years, they are staying in some forest. There are, there, there are three to four simple criteria which is mentioned. This is one of the criteria. So this is also true. This is also true. Okay. And the last one, uh, Irular and uh, Konda Reddy tribes are included. So like I told, 75 tribes are there. You cannot buy heart all these things. Okay. So UPSC also don't expect you to buy heart. But now because it's given, next year if this comes, you can uh, identify that these are PBTs. Okay. Irular is around uh, Kerala Tamil Nadu region and Konda Reddy is in Andhra Pradesh region. Okay. In our MCQs also, uh, most of the places it will be there. In one of our 2016 to 18 set, it is there. So that is how this was one of the question which YCI students would have easily uh, written last year. Okay. So uh, uh, here, this is one screenshot, okay, and here we have given some numbers and all these things. So the 75 PVTs is like, as I told, first line will be that only. So this was a very easy question and direct question. But uh, this statement 1, 2, 4, make sure that you, you have by-hearted it now itself. And next time when it comes, you will easily eliminate it, okay, if you need it to. Second question. This is again a straightforward question. Two, three straightforward questions are there where they simply gave a uh, article explanation, okay. An article in the constitution, they just simply put as an option. So here if you see, with reference to the constitution of India, prohibitions sorry prohibitions or limitations uh, or provisions contained in ordinary laws cannot act as prohibitions or limitations on the constitutional powers under article 142 
it means what okay this article 142 was in news multiple times okay that is why this question is asked so you don't have to sit and buy at all the 400 articles in the constitution you you should know that article 42 keeps coming in the news because supreme court has a power okay has a power to uh, take some decisions when something is like not solved or something is like stand pending before the uh, full nation like something parliament has not done properly then uh, supreme court has this special power of article 142 and it has used it multiple times okay in various various cases in the last two three years it has used that is why this was asked and if you basically had put options where all four were something related to supreme court and then it was like made confusing it would have been a difficult question but here they put one statement as election commission one statement as supreme court then here some uh, financial something okay this is a financial emergency and here they put something to state legislature so they made it easy by just checking whether a student has at least seen one time okay if you are a good aspirant who reads newspaper daily or if you do any current affair magazine follow any one current affair magazine you would have seen 142 as supreme court power that is the only thing checked here okay that is why i have told these are questions where questions are difficult but options are very easy okay it will be always like that okay whenever questions are sorry whenever questions are difficult One second questions are difficult options will be easy and it will be the reverse also when questions are easy options will be difficult now if you see this this is article 142 i'll show you the article also so that uh, you know where it what it is okay it's a, a special power of the supreme court <clears throat> so whatever they have given it's the same thing okay enforcement of decrees and orders of supreme court in exercise of its jurisdiction it can pass that matter pending before it okay under any law made by the parliament you can pause this and see and where you can see such crisp explanation of every article is there will be a website called indian uh, indiancanoon.com okay when you simply type article 140 in google it will be there in the first three links somewhere it will be there one two or three it will be definitely there indiancanoon.com that is where i go and read all the uh, articles okay these articles like it will be very crisp it will be the constitution language only but they will give it in very neat format other pages if you go and see they will be like cut pasting in a very uh, unreadable kind of format but this is very clear okay you can read it in two three uh, passages so this is simple definition so go and read every article whenever you study about them with reference to the legislative assembly of a state in india consider the following statements so here it is like again two different articles they just put as two statements so this was a little difficult because you may get confused also like a governor gives a customary address to the members of the house one second because you would have already studied about president giving a customary address and all but governor giving an address uh, sometimes students don't read the chapter or skip the chapter but this is also true okay governor makes a customary address to members of the house at the commencement of the first session of the year okay first session of the year after immediately after election and all governor gives a customary address to the session okay so this is actually true I'll show you the article numbers also. And second one, when a state legislature does not have a rule on a particular matter, it follows the Lok Sabha rule on this matter. Okay, so this is just a made up statement. There is nothing like that. Okay, if you see these articles, first article 176 where a uh, special address by the governor is mentioned. Okay, so they he definitely gives such a uh, address, okay, customary address to the uh, legislature. So this you can read, so article 76 directly put it here, a portion of it. And then next one is article 208 okay here if like it's mentioned like state can make rules for themselves and if there is no rule what they will do they will uh, take something before the pre-independence or the before the commencement of the constitution what was there that they will follow it's nothing like they will follow lok sabha rule that is not mentioned anywhere so this is just a made up statement so this is a wrong statement so this is again testing little bit extra uh, knowledge of students okay so it is okay if you skip these kind of questions also but such questions are coming these days okay now this one is a very very difficult question you have to skip this question okay because this cannot be solved easily one reason these are not very uh, popular bodies okay united two bodies they have just played with it and they have made four statements okay united nations convention against corruption that is uncac and united nations convention against transnational organized crime okay untoc until this came in uh, the paper last year even i did not see this okay i have never heard of these bodies it was it's not very popular and india had ratified it long back it's not a new uh, treaty or uh, body okay 
so these bodies if you see uh, two years back maybe i think it was in news because india did a change in uh, prevention of corruption act act or something in india so that was made to be in line with one of this act okay that is one only reason this came in news but that time also nobody will go and study too much deep about it okay because they have asked very in depth question they have asked the provisions under it they have asked uh, about the uh, legality of it so it, it's a very very difficult question you have to skip it the answer i'll tell you the answer here is 2 and 4 okay 2 and 4 because they have done very simple thing okay in 1 and 3 they just interchanged okay in 1 and 3 they simply interchanged the bodies uncac and untoc that's what they have done else all the four statements would have been true okay so this here if you see this migrants by land sea and air this is one of the provision under untoc okay untoc has three to four provisions under that in the wikipedia page itself it's mentioned and it's there in one of our vice test i have recently inclu included in the 2020 prelims test series because now this has come into the upsc bucket maybe after this year or next year they will ask so i have included it in my test okay both both the bodies detailed mcqs there so uh, this is a provision under this and unt if you see here this asset recovery okay a chapter specific chapter under this thing where assets will be recovered this is actually true for uncac under uncac there are 5 to 6 chapters okay and under untoc there are 3 to 4 provisions so they simply replaced both the bodies in statement number 1 and 3 and statement number 2 is actually true okay it's the first ever legally and it's the only legally binding okay so whether it's first second it doesn't matter because it's the only one right now so it's the only legally binding uh, thing okay and under, under the anti corruption thing so that is true that's the first line in the wikipedia also if you go and see and this one uh, united nations convention on drugs and uh, crime okay un do uh, oc sorry un odc this is little more popular but this is actually related to these two bodies okay that is one thing you have to learn actually here they have given like it will assist in the this thing uh, but in wikipedia you will see a little more details like you like one of the un cac i think it is a secretariat this body will act as a secretariat and for un toc this will act as uh, some uh, some uh, supporting agency something is mentioned a keyword is mentioned so uh, you can go and check or if you are vice student you will get the test anyway okay so the statement 2 is true and statement 4 is true okay un odc is related to both and un cac is the first ever, ever legally thing and this one and three are interchanged this is the only thing you need to know remaining you can learn for the future test i don't think they will immediately repeat for 2020 but maybe 21 maybe they'll repeat this okay this again is a little more in depth question but there is a reason for asking it this is because current affair was there okay here again two acts they are using one is indian forest act 1927 and one is this scheduled tribe and other traditional forest uh, recognition of forest act 2006 this thing again you have to know like these two are very very lengthy act if you go and simply download the pdf it will have hundreds of pages of clauses okay so you cannot go and by heart all these clauses but here they have made question in respect to bamboo because bamboo was in news the news was that bamboo is no more considered as a tree okay that was the news so with that single point they devised a whole uh, mcq okay to check your knowledge so here i'll tell you uh, the first statement as per recent amendment that's what happened okay as per recent amendment forest dwellers have the right to fell the bamboos grown on forest trees this is the statement now they have given okay so you have to know that before also bamboos could have been uh felled okay but now they have made it like bamboos is not a tree so in non forest areas also they can fell the tree and they don't need a permit for that that is what is the amendment was made this i mean this whatever they have given is a made up statement okay like forest dwellers have the right to fell the bamboos grown on forest areas this is a wrong interpretation okay the actual amendment which was made the act is correct only this is the act but after amendment they made it as okay see if this is the original act okay in original act tree includes palms bamboos and all these things by amending they removed this in the definition of tree okay and then now you don't need a permit that is what happens and see here more i put the screenshot so that you read this okay timber includes what river includes what so maybe you basically will ask it next year so like this there are hundreds of clauses i know you cannot study everything but at least what you see on screen try to by heart and make notes now um, so after uh, sorry after the amendment this is the amendment okay sorry following the amendment bamboo has been removed from the Uh, category of tree and consequent to this change brought in by the amended act felling or transportation of bamboos in non forest area will not require permit okay see it's a 2017 news and upsc asked a question in 2019 this is why i always tell two years in current affair at least you should do else you cannot solve it i'll show you more older current affair in the next question but this is one of the question so this is a wrong statement okay they have just uh, made you believe that this will become true but that is actually false so eliminate statement 1 so these two will go away okay the a and d will go away now you will get to know that 3 is true 
okay automatically so three is what as a scheduled tribes another that second act allows ownership of minor forest produce to forest dwellers okay ownership to forest dwellers and in second statement it is bamboo is a minor forest produce these are the two things so if you see that again lot of clauses are there so this i point number i here this includes okay minor forest produce includes bamboo brushwood stumps cane so whatever is given by heart all these things okay because next time they will ask these things honey wax medicinal plant all these are minor forest produce as per this act okay that also you should remember as per this act now next point this ownership also is mentioned below that so it's a very difficult thing as i told i myself had to do a control f in the big pdf and search whether it is true or false okay so i'm telling you cannot go and buy heart all these things but upsc is asking this so i'm letting you know okay if you cannot do this just skip it okay five ten questions if it's very difficult if you skip also nothing will happen remaining 90 questions are there in that 90 questions you have 180 marks okay so 180 you can easily score 110 marks it's not a big thing so identify which is difficult and learn to skip it but if this repeats if this repeats in next year you don't tell it's a difficult question because upsc is asking a previous year question and you were supposed to study it okay so these three statements make sure you have learnt it now okay here actually the answer is two and three okay two and three both are true as per the act but this amendment which is a new thing is a wrong thing question number 46 this again because it because it came in news okay every year upsc is asking this also like right to suicide right to internet right to this thing they will ask under which article it comes so you should first thing you should know all these articles well okay 25 is related to religion 29 is related to minor uh, educational institutions article 21 is life and liberty article 19 is art, uh, right to freedom okay these are very very basic polity lakshmikan stuff which you study but they will ask something which happened in news so here they are asking right to marry okay so you would have like think like like it's my freedom to marry it's my liberty to marry so 19 and 21 is where people get confused okay 25 29 if they know what it is they will skip they will eliminate there itself but now this was asked because a case i think hadia case or something yeah hadia case it was there in news again in 2017 okay 2018 okay so this is the reason it was asked and see the dates april okay so when you give a prelims in june uh, 2019 okay june 2019 usually from where you will start studying you will study one year old current affair that is june 2018 that is what students do so 12 months you will tell i did 12 months of current affairs still i cannot solve questions that is because see the news they are asking something which came in april 2018 so that will not be covered by most of the coaching institute also so always do more than 12 months at least do 24 months of current affairs okay you cannot go search the newspapers of that time then enroll to any good test series who is offering it okay simply we don't put this whenever i tell students to study older current affair they don't take it seriously but when see, when you see the question paper you will understand that they are asking things which were there in news before one and a half year okay so please understand that so here the article is uh, 29 okay here you can see right to life and liberty it was there in the indian express direct statement so here the answer is uh, article 21 next question this is again little bit difficult but uh, you can take intelligent guesses here so it's about patenting in india so indian patent act again they have asked a very detailed question about an act so clauses i had to go and search indian patent act 1970 it's a very old act and here if you see the first uh, second statement is the easiest one they are telling in india there is no intellectual appellate board okay in india for everything you have everything has an appellate board okay so that is one thing and it was in news also i think we also had a test question okay see here set number seven mcq 21 it was there so we had a detailed question about see it's under patent act 1970 so that's actually wrong the appellate board is not an act so here if you see it's neither one or two okay it's in trademarks act and the headquarters is in Chennai. So these two statements are false. Let's like this we had taught you. So this two you can eliminate. When you eliminate two, uh, B goes away and D goes away. So one and three and three only. So that means three automatically becomes true. What is three? Plant varieties are not eligible to be patented in India. This is actually true. I'll show you details. Then again, the first statement, according to Indian Patents Act, a biological process to create a seed can be patented okay so here they are selling plant cannot be patented here they are telling seed can be patented so it's like kind of contradicting okay so actually uh first statement is wrong okay uh, neither the seed nor the plant nothing can be patented in india as per this act so one is false eliminate one you will get the answer as three only now going into the act 
okay before that one more point i'll tell you i'll show the act after that uh, there was something in news like this okay there is another act called protection of plant variety and farmers right act 2001 okay in 2019 it was in news and we had made a detailed question on that they did not ask on that but there we have mentioned like plants usually get this intellectual property thing okay under this act but we did not teach you anything about patent act i'm just mentioning an extra point okay in case in future a question comes even though patent is not given to plants through this thing pan, uh, plants can be given protection under this act okay pp VFR Act, PP VFR Act 2001 gives intellectual property right. Farmers, if they make something, they will get this act because there was an issue when potato cultivation, some farmer along with uh, this Pepsi company because they're making this uh, lace chips and all something. So there was a fight. So something was given uh, like the intellectual property right is there. That, why, that was why it is in news. It was a very detailed thing and even in mains question can come. So this is there in our test May 2019 current affair. So that is one point. Now coming back to this question, this is the act. So again in that PDF, I had to go and search control F I did and I got this plants and animals and seeds. Nothing can be patented. Okay, these are all coming under. There is a section. Okay, there is a chapter two in this particular uh, patent act. There's a lot of chapters. In that chapter, they are given which of the following are not considered inventions. Okay, meaning inventions which cannot be patented. And these things, all what you see on screen comes under that. This cannot be patented so plants animals uh, seeds varieties and species biological process whatever they have asked same thing okay so that's what i'm telling this is a very detailed clause but you basically asked it so maybe intelligent guesses you can take but else you cannot do like i told you will get like this then you will one and three three only then you will think like okay these two are contradicting so one of them has to be false okay so like that you will make one as false that's only intelligent guess you can do but remember that you is asking very very detailed clauses of act that very old act now again see again act environment protection act what power does it give so first is they are telling it re requirement of public participation in the process okay they have mentioned like that and second one lay down the standards for emission or discharge of environmental pollutants from various sources this is more believable okay obviously environmental protection act will lay down the standards of how much pollutants will go down or this thing so actually this is true but this public participation i think nowhere it is mentioned the answer will be two only let me check whether yeah this is the again the i went and opened the pdf okay everything there is government pdf but as i told i don't expect students to go and buy heart all the clauses see this is their standards of emission direct statement it is but uh, the public participation is nowhere mentioned and it's a made up statement by upsc okay so again difficult question but uh, this is how it is okay and as i told skip it if you don't know 2016 again a solid waste management rule a very detailed question but one thing is it's abcd question so you have to find out which is correct so three things are wrong so find out or check whether you can find out okay so again if you see the first one it's a number okay waste generator has to segregate waste into five categories this is actually wrong it's actually three categories okay this wet dry and domestic hazardous this is the three categories as per this act this is a false statement now second statement the rules are applicable to notified urban local bodies notified towns and all industrial township only okay this is an extreme statement okay when they make such a big law it cannot be only that i am just telling you calculation okay how to intelligent uh, intelligently guess so this is actually wrong okay it's actually extended to a lot of bodies everything ports dockyard ships everything see here economic zones central state organizations place of pilgrimage everywhere it is there so that is wrong these are all taken from the act only government act okay now third one the rules provide for exact and elaborate criteria for the identification of sites for landfills okay like in last uh, mcq you saw environmental uh, protection act is giving what they are telling you what all pollutants where all pollutants all these things so like that here they have the rules for sites for landfills this is actually true okay and the next one it's mandatory on the part of waste generator that the waste generator in one district cannot be moved to another district so actually there is no mention of like this anything in that act okay this landfill as i told statement c is true landfill detail provision they, are, they have given how many kilometers away whether it's in hilly area plain area full detailed clauses they have given so c is true but d there is no mention itself you do a control f in this pdf like transportation movement district not even a single line will come this is just a made up statement okay they can be transported for like how, whether they have to dump it properly somewhere there's just maybe a procedure is there for transportation but nothing is mentioned so it's a wrong statement again so again i'm telling these are very very difficult questions again like i told one and a and b could have been eliminated but c and d you might have got stuck okay this is a giveaway which i do only in certain videos which i feel students may not watch it okay so this is for those people who watch my videos regularly and early that means within this 24 hours i upload it today maybe by seven o'clock and next seven o'clock it will get over within that time you just have to whatsapp me you have to whatsapp me this code okay free feb 20 nothing else simply code the, send this code and you have to like this video 
and comment this particular line the exact same line you have to simply comment don't mention anything else and don't share this code on the youtube also else others also will get the benefit okay this is only for those very regular students of mine and who is early viewer like this many many giveaways are there in multiple videos but i will not disclose it okay it is only for those students who are interested in vicious so whatsapp me this code comment this like this video subscribe and immediately you will get a february 2020 test for free in your email okay i'll tell you in your whatsapp when you come and give me this code but make sure come and whatsapp only after commenting this okay so that's it last question for today again a very see 2018 so this is what i told today's questions are all based on act which is very detailed question which you cannot solve unless you are uh, like maybe read that act yourself else you cannot do it current affairs or coaching materials cannot help you by heart all these hundreds of clauses in act but i am explaining to you now so next time when it repeats you have to solve it okay so here if you see uh, this industrial employment standing orders uh, here they are telling if rules for fixed term employment are implemented then becomes easier for the firms to lay off workers okay and then like if this rule comes then it will be easier then the no notice of termination of employment shall be uh, necessary for temporary workmen like contract workers are there right which are not permanent for them no notice is required you can terminate them any time so these two are actually uh, true okay if you see here this is an indian express article and this see the statements it is exactly the same even in government pdf you cannot find this exact statement okay but they have exactly taken it from an indian express article and this article again is a 2018 march article so do you understand what i am telling it is not coming in your one year current affair it is one year and four months one year and five months so you have to do that 12 plus 5 17 months 18 months of current affair minimum you have to do because you is asking questions like this okay this is a 2018 march indian express article where the exact statement without even a word differing they have put, they have put yesterday even my hindu newspaper video i have told you exact pictures exact lines even in government video i'm seriously telling you cannot find this line okay it will not be like it'll be written in a different language but in index indian express what they saw upsc copy pasted okay so continue your studies i'll make up the next video soon 2020 these are the offers is getting over soon because many many students have enrolled and so i'll be ending it and i'll be starting the 2021 thing okay current affairs i told whichever year you want you can come and buy it's here and uh, this uh, uh, full package is this one for 2020 okay next video will be on 51 to 60 which i'll be doing within one or two days so hope you enjoyed the uh, video thank you and have a nice day